Hey guys, this is Down Phoenix, and welcome back to another episode of what I'm playing. Now, usually I'm going to be playing games that are a lot newer, but this game obviously is a lot older. This is Versus Excite Bike. However, it's new to me as well as a lot of other people ever since they added it to the Nintendo Switch Online NES Shop. And this is kind of almost a dream game in a way of the little me. Uh, the little young me that was a huge fan of Excitebike. Excitebike was the first racing game that I ever really fell in love with. This was the game that got me to enjoy racing games, and uh, I always wanted a sequel. I always wanted more of that, but unfortunately, we never really got anything that um, really came to the same level in terms of the quality of the original Excite Bike back in the day. Like, there was Excite Bike 64 many years later, but it wasn't nearly to the same tier. And then we had the Excite Truck and Excite Bots game on the Wii. Eh, they're fine, I guess. But we never really had a game that measured up to the quality of the original Excite Bike. Until recently. Now, this game was originally in the arcades, actually. We did have this in the arcades, but only Japan got it via the Famicom Disk System for home, home markets, and that's something that would have been really awesome. Now, there are a number of reasons why this is, in my opinion, the definitive Excite Bike experience. First of all, we have enhanced graphics and music and all that stuff. Now, they're not like a huge difference. Like, you can still tell it's very much based on the original Excite Bike graphics. But there's just a little more flair, a little more color going on, uh, a little bit more animation. Uh, they added a little bit of new graphics and whatnot. It's very minor stuff, but it's just welcome additions, really. And then, of course, the music. I like the addition of in track music, you know, music playing throughout the match. Whereas, in the previous game, all you got was just the sound effects, and it was a lot more plain experience, so... It was... It, it was definitely an improvement here. And also, it just feels a little bit tighter on the controls. It's hard to describe, but I feel this game does play a bit better uh, than the original one. Like, it's definitely a little more precise. Not to mention that this game offers a two-player split-screen mode which would have been mind-blowing to have back in 1988 or 89 or whenever we would have gotten this if we would have gotten it originally. And it's it's a shame that we didn't. It really is, because this is probably the most I've played uh, any individual uh, freaking NES title. Like this, i probably played more than just about everything else. Maybe... Uh, I guess I did play through all of River City Ransom, so I guess I don't know what kind of playtime that takes a couple of hours, maybe? But I still think that this probably has more going on. Um, not to mention that, you know, like I said, it's a very familiar game. If you play the original Excite Bike, you'll feel right at home, but you will also appreciate the additions that they had to the game. The new tracks, the new courses. They even have bonus rounds, which I hope to get to so I can show you guys that because it's kind of a cool addition. You know, it makes it about more than just racing because when it comes to motocross uh, type sports, it is about more than just racing. There is a lot more involved with it. And, um, you know, I'm not really an expert on that kind of stuff nowadays, but I used to be into it a lot when I was younger, when I was a kid. I loved motocross. I loved monster trucks, you know. I mean, if it was vehicles in the dirt, I loved it, pretty much. <laughs> it's kind of weird, you know, I don't really have much of an interest in that kind of stuff nowadays, but, you know, I still enjoy the games. The games are fun, and I don't think that will ever change, in my opinion. Yeah. And by the way, I've learned a secret about the original Excite Bike games, or at least this one. I don't know if it's the original, but if you're able to wreck five cars in a row without taking any damage, you'll actually get, like, permanent turbo. So you can, like, turbo as much as you want. And that is pretty awesome. That's a pretty nice little addition. I Now, I've never successfully done that myself, because it is pretty tough to wreck five vehicles in a row in a single race, you know. 
you don't really encounter them that often. And when you do, it's oftentimes in disadvantageous situations where you're just trying to survive the encounter, you know? You're trying to make it out alive, per se. Like, you're right there, that was a bad idea, but that's okay, I still finished just fine. That's all you gotta really do is just finish. You don't have to rank number one or anything like that. Basically, you just have to be good enough to keep going on to the series. So... In addition to all of these things, of course, they actually save the scores and times in this game, which is really good because the original game didn't do that at all. There was like no kind of battery save whatsoever. I mean, you gotta imagine the original Excite Bike came out before they even had battery saves, which started at least in North America with the original Legend of Zelda. I don't know if there was any games uh, before that in Japan that possibly used battery saves. But uh, that's definitely something you have to consider there with that. And now this was Famicom Disk System. This wasn't battery. So maybe that's part of the issue. Maybe this game was too much of a challenge to move from the Famicom Disk System. And Nintendo had no plans, of course, to make that available outside of Japan. That could be the problem there. I'm actually wondering if I will qualify here. I'm definitely cutting it very close here. But yeah, there, there we go. I've got fourth or fifth here, I'm sure. Oh, third, surprisingly. Probably barely. I think you, once you get to, like, 44 or something like that, it probably gives you fourth. So, that's cool, though. But you've got a total of seven courses. You have your qualifying round, of course, which that's... You have to do that, but that's by yourself. Those are a little bit easier, because the timing is not as strict, and you're by yourself. You don't have to worry about other cars wrecking into you. And then you get the actual races, which they're a little bit more challenging due to those aforementioned uh, quirks behind them. So, but yeah, like, I, it's always, the first lap's always going to take a little bit longer. So if you get pretty good timing on the first lap, you usually can screw up a little bit on the second. I'm not doing very good this time, unfortunately. But uh, we're going to try to, try to, you know, make it a better second half of the race here. There we go. Wreck that car nice and smoothly. And I overheated. Oh, this is gonna really cost me. I don't, I don't think it's possible for me to make it now. I really don't. Yeah, because I had a lot better time through the qualifying, and yeah, it's it's not gonna happen. Uh, yeah. Well, well, let's just let it play out, I suppose. I was wanting to really show you guys the bonus rounds, but I don't know if it's. I forgot how strict it was with that. I probably guess I could have used a save state feature, but I didn't want to be like a casual noob, you know, that has to cheat to win. I just want to win to win, you know. That's that's what I like to do, people. You know, Dark Souls styled. I don't know. I might be able to barely squeeze this out, but no, I don't. I don't think so because I'm yeah, I haven't even hit the. Uh, yeah, no, we lost. We are done. I don't know if it's going to let me continue. Yeah, I'm not even close. I'm several seconds off. If I didn't wreck like 14 times, maybe I could have made it. <laughs> so, yeah, I got a ninth. That sucks. How bad is it? Am I going to get to retry from there, or is it going to start over from the very beginning? Uh, retry. Okay. Well, I hit start, but apparently that didn't matter. I guess we'll try the challenge and... Well, not again. Fortunately, you can skip ahead to track three if you want to start with something a little more challenging. You don't have to worry about the stupid beginning courses if you, you know, don't want yourself to have to mess with crap that you're already really good at. So that's cool, you know, I like that. Or if you just want a better starting off point, you know. Like, say, maybe you stopped on track five and you don't want to have to rush through all the crappy tracks before that, you know. You just move straight on to the good stuff. That's all good. So in Excite Bike, you know, for anybody that isn't familiar with this game for some reason, it's a four-lane racing game. It's very simple. It's a very simplistic racing game. Now I mentioned earlier this was the game that made me fall in love with racing games. It's the first game I remember even playing uh, that was a racing game. I mean, I did play the Atari 2600 beforehand, but I don't remember playing any racing games. If I did, it, like I said, it just wasn't memorable or spectacular enough for me to really care or notice. But Excite Bike, I love playing Excite Bike. Um, obviously, some other racing games from the NES, like Rad Racer and RC Program, 
you know, I really enjoy those kinds of games. But this was pretty much my racing game for the NES. This was the one I liked the most. And uh, I know it's kind of weird because it's more of a simplistic game than some of those other ones. But this is this was my jam, guys. This is the one I liked. You know, I like the uh, combination of the simplicity, but also the skill that's involved with playing Excite Bike. There is a lot of skill. It's a lot more than just taking turns because, you know, taking landing on the hills and everything like that right and going through the bogs and whatnot, there is a lot of skill involved in successfully doing that. And I should have slowed down, like obviously in the speed bumps, you're supposed to slow down for those, otherwise you wreck like I did. And you gotta hit the hills in the right way in order to, you know, get the best possible launches and all that good stuff. There's just a lot going on, and it's it's kind of sad that, you know, there's not a lot of good MX and motocross kind of games out there. There's a few good ones. Uh, I actually was playing MX versus ATV uh, a couple months back, and I, I kind of enjoyed it. I didn't really get into it. I wasn't, like, really able to commit to it at the time. I was just playing it to kind of milk some Xbox Live uh, quest achievements, but I had fun with it. I might go back to that one. Uh, that was pretty fun. But, you know, Excite Bike is where it's at, guys. Now, hopefully let me play the bonus track finally, so I can show you that before we quit playing. Yes, here we are, the bonus stage. So this is really cool because it's actually more of a stunt thing. You jump over things and whatnot. It's just, it's just really cool. You know, you jump over the cars and it kind of calculates how well you jump over the cars. Yep. Yep, gotta gotta clear them all, people. Oh, dang it. Didn't make it past that. But that's okay, though. We made it. We made it. To the happy face guy with the flag up there. Yeah, that one where it has, like, stack of three cars, I don't know exactly. I've never been able to jump over it, but, uh... But yeah, I, I enjoy those little additions like that. That they added to this game, you know, and I just, I just enjoy Excite Bike, you know. This is like, you know, some people when it comes to like games that they're like, maybe fond of on the NES that aren't the typical Mario or Zelda, but they enjoy them probably just as much. You know, some people will say games like Punch Out or Castlevania or you know Ninja Gaiden or something like that, and yeah, I mean I enjoy all those, but Excite Bike is one that I think really deserves. A mention it definitely deserves a mention as in my opinion the most top tier racing game on the NES and I wish Nintendo would have done more racing games I mean there was this and Mock Rider and RC program was published by Rare but I guess or not published made developed by Rare but it was published by Nintendo I guess so I guess that sort of counts too but uh, Nintendo did do a lot of racing games at least here in America and I failed the qualifier so I'm out, guys. I am out. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, dislike. Um, do the social media things that are on the lower left-hand side that have been popping up throughout the video. All that good stuff. Uh, but till then, Dow Phoenix out.